I love my lifestyle. I date successful men, but more importantly, I date successful men that have money. How much do you think you spent on her? 40,000. $40,000. Well, yes, it's an arrangement. This sugar baby's best friend is disgusted by her arrangement. What do you call their relationship then? An, an a prostitution ring. Yeah. It's best friend versus sugar daddy in an all out brawl. You're a pimp. A desperate pimp. Yeah, oh that's yeah. it. That's a personality, that's right. Personality? Yes, you live absolutely. It <laughs> no, I have it here. And one surprise guest may put a kink in this couple's arrangement. Last time we saw each other was only a couple months ago. June, he doesn't really know that, but now he does. I love my lifestyle. I date successful men, but more importantly, I date successful men that have money. Right now I'm dating Sergio. He's a very wealthy man, and he just, you know, whatever I need, he's there to provide for me. And whenever he needs me, I'm there as well. We have been to the Bahamas, we have been to Costa Rica. I have a lot of fun on these trips. He buys me whatever I want on these trips as well. And we just have a great time. We are enjoying each other's company. He has bought me designer bags, he has bought me designer shoes. Nothing is too expensive for him to get. As long as he knows it's gonna make me happy, it's gonna make me look great, and especially great in front of his friends, he just goes out there and gets it for me. I love dating Sergio. My friend Clara, she thinks that I'm falling in love. I am not falling in love. Clara just needs to understand that my relationship with Sergio, it's the guess we're out of dating. It made dating simpler and just more straightforward. So now I'm dating men at the top. This relationship serves all my needs. I am truly happy and very satisfied. Well, ever, ever get together with Sergio? She went on some website? Through a website, sugardaddy.com. Come see me, come get me, I don't know. So you've been telling us what's wrong with Sergio. What kind of guy do you think your friend Carla would really be happy with? A strong-willed man. Someone that knows what he wants, okay? Someone that is stable emotionally. Emotionally and even mentally if he's stable. broke, even if he's broke, not you know, he gotta have some, you know, he gotta he, uh, he gotta have some dough in his pocket, you know, cause she, you know, she needs that. But at the same time, someone that's strong, not weak-minded, uh, not weak-minded. Uh, that's weak-minded. Okay. That's weak-minded. Well, well, I want to hear from Carla. As you know, Carla's been listening backstage. I'm sure she's got a lot she her. wants to say. So please welcome Carla. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah, I know what you said. Okay, uh, good. Yeah. I hope you did. All I right. hope it, I I hope it in bed. Version. So, how did you get to meet Sergio then? Some website or something? Else? Yes, I did. So what? There's a whole... That's right, it, yes. Is it kind of like a, a catalog of guys and you pick number 24 or so? Is it like ordering a Chinese meal or something? Well... <laughs> Well, I got a wink from him, pretty much. So I was, I'm a woman and I'm assertive and I know what I want. So what I did is I emailed him and I said, you know what? Let's meet. Let's talk. What's wrong with that? Right. So okay. the first date, what was that like? Well, he has these beautiful, sea green eyes. He's disgusting. Okay, can I tell <laughs> You know what? You, you had your chance to talk. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't make yeah. us nauseous at the same time, okay? All right, let me talk, okay? okay? All right, okay. So did he treat you nicely? Yes, he treated me beautifully. We went out to dinner, an expensive dinner, and he paid for it. He paid for everything. <laughs> Not even 50 50. Good for you. Yeah. Good Not for you. All right, yeah. good for you. So how does it work? What are, you, are you dating? What do you call it? Well, I guess it's an arrangement. Prostitution. No, it's not. Okay. okay. He buys me, yes, beautiful shoes, dresses. He takes me on trips. Pimping. I've been to Bahamas. Pimp me I've out. To... Please, pimp the ride. I've okay. been to Costa Rica. Okay. Yeah. And what's wrong with that? He's a successful man. He has a business. Okay. He has helped me with my business. I have a business as well. So we right. help each other. We compliment each other. Okay. At I, I, I help him close accounts with his business. But Carla, okay. Uh, let, let me ask you something. Yes. Um, so right at the beginning, mm -hmm. when you meet up, is there a discussion about who's going to do what? Or, you know, I mean, if you have a headache, mm -hmm. for instance, and he wants sex, if he's paying, you have to... <laughs> Yeah, how does that work? How yes, do tell. You? <laughs> oh, do tell. Why do you want a guy like this? Why? Well, pretty much I've been dating broke men, okay? Men that are just at the bottom. And at the end of the day, they have men that are successful. That's what she doesn't understand. They no. are successful. They are high-level thinkers. They are intelligent. Hey, okay? hey, but why can't Why you... not? Why not be around individuals that will help me network and just get to the... Well, what do you, yeah. Yeah. Why, why can't, you, meet, why can't my... you meet people like that just out socially? Exactly. Exactly. Well, someone that's not going to pimp you out. He's okay. pimping you. He's pimping okay. you. Okay, take it easy.
So you have to. Do you, do you, are you falling for him? Um, well, right now, like I said, I'm not giving everything. I can't. I have to hold back. Somebody because said yes I, or no. No, well, if I put all expectations on him, I'm going to push him away. I'm like, okay. She doesn't know what she wants. Wait, let me talk. Let me talk. If I tell him, sweetie, I just, you know, I want to get married. I want to have kids. Oh, do else, you? I'm going to scare him away. But I'm that's what say, you want. Is that what you want? I mean, the future would be nice with someone, you know, if they're willing she to. She doesn't know what she wants. I just don't want to put unrealistic expectations. I want him to give me genuinely what he wants to give me right now. I know our ladies in the audience want to meet Sergio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Survive. Let's hear why Sergio says this arrangement works. So, Sergio, <laughs> come on out. to meet women you look like you know you look like you could do it all without a website why do you need a website because i um, i have no time it's a website that gives you guarantees that you're not going to find at a bar well, what kind of guarantees does it give well you? you find what you're looking for desperation you find a person that is very smart beautiful right to have a great conversation that you can mm -hmm. take and present to your clients and you're not going to be shy of yeah it. you're a pimp a oh, desperate yeah. pimp yeah, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. it a desperate pimp <laughs> So, Sergio, is there an arrangement? Hey, hey, hey. It's a kind of arrangement, but it's nothing on paper. We but what kind of rules, find. roughly? But uh, she knows that I'm a busy person. I work a lot, long hours every day. Right. And uh, I don't need someone to be texting me all the time. What are you doing? Who are you going out with? Would you ever go for a woman like Clara? Absolutely not. No, He's too no. weak. <laughs> He's too weak. He can't handle really? me. Oh, Absolutely not. I would oh, never do oh, that. Right. too much. I need to sleep. That's right. I have personality. That's right. Personality? Yes, you leave absolutely. It? <laughs> no, I have it here. I have it here. Take it with you. Absolutely don't not. Don't leave it at home. <laughs> Sergio, what would happen? What would happen if Carla said to you, oh, let's get married, I want to get married, I want to have babies? He'll run for the hills. It's, it's not the time. It's not the right time. Not for me, not Ditto. today. See, and there you go. Know. Are you, are you uh, exclusive to each other sexually, did you I say? have no time for anybody else. So, and what about you? Are you? So is he the only guy you would sleep with while you're going out with him, or is that not part of the deal from your, your point? Well, he is. He's my main guy. Main guy. He's my main she guy. Didn't yeah. that, did she? <laughs> she didn't answer that, did she? She didn't answer that. She's my main guy. She went around the boat. You saw it's that, right? Main guy. Indirectly. Okay. Do you I love Carla? I care for her. I like her a lot. I'm not in love with her. You're but not in I like her a lot and I care for her a lot. And how long have you had this arrangement going on then? Uh, this is for about 10 months. And anyway. there's no emotion involved. We heard some of the things that you've bought for her, the, the, the vacations, the clothes, the shoes. Uh, do you have in your mind a rough figure? How much do you think you spent on her? Uh, about, I don't know, over 40000 $40,000. High pay hooker, honey. Who's, who's this, da Davian? Davian. Oh my gosh. Davian? <laughs> comedian what? that never paid her back $2,000. Yeah. He's an, an ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So you were talking... He's a great comedian. Great, awesome. Comedian. Yeah, yeah. But as a, boyfriend, as a boyfriend, an ex-boyfriend, what was he like? Broke. Well, we dated for two years. He uh -huh. was broke. <laughs> I mean, he was just, you know, he, he's an upcoming comedian and sometimes, you know, does get a, li a little hard. I mean, but financially, he, he owes you quite a bit $2, of money. Two thousand dollars wow. eviction notice. Two thousand dollars eviction notice. Eviction yes. notice. Yes. Well, one time I come to the house, and yes, the, I see the marshals have come. There's an eviction notice, and I can't get to the house, and I have my poor little dog Coco crying in the in the background. So we had to go and talk to all the tenants to go to their, you know, to the fire escape to try to get poor little Coco. We had to break the windows and take Coco out the window. So that's, so that's, that's part of your broke boyfriends, which leads you to go, to go on this website to find gentlemen yeah. like Sergio. After that, I was like, that's it. All right, well, Carla <laughs> took a lie detector test to prove to Clara that she can separate love uh, from money. Uh -oh. um, you, you think you can separate the two, love and money? Yes, definitely. And Sergio, you can separate love and money as well? Oh, yes. Very definitely. easily. Well, when we come back, not only will we have the result of Carla's lie detector test, but uh, Davian is here and <laughs> Carla's lie detector got back to me from here and Tim tells us uh, whether you were being truthful oh. or not. So we asked Carla, are you with Sergio just for the money? 
You said no. Oh. Tim? The polygraph determined she was being truthful. Yeah. <laughs> we asked you, is sex with Davian better than sex with Sergio? <laughs> You said yes. I can't oh, believe Tim. you The polygraph determined that Carla was being truthful. That is disgusting. We asked you, are you still in love with Davian? You said no. Tim? But I can't. The polygraph determined that Carla was not being truthful. Oh. Right now, mm -hmm. shoot me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh.